Hello reception and welcome back to your second video looking at doubling this week in maths. So our lesson focus is to learn and know our doubles through the concrete pictorial and abstract approach. Just before we start our new learning today, we're just going to do some retrieval practice. So it says to complete the part part whole to represent place value. So have a think about the number that needs to go in this circle and the number that needs to go in this circle. Now you can write your answer down or you can say it out loud. So first of all, what number would I have to put in this circle to show place value? Well done, I would put my 10 to represent the 10s in the number. And what number am I going to write in this bubble? Seven, well done, to represent our ones. Good job, well done. Now our learning objective for today is to be able to find and represent doubles. And to do this, we'll be looking at finding doubles using manipulatives. We'll also represent doubles and even solve doubling problems. Let's just recap our previous learning from the last video. So we looked at the language that we use when talking about doubling. So we might say things like, twice as many. We have twice as many of a number or amount. We might say double one is two. So doubling is two groups of an amount or number. So my picture here, I've got two groups of an amount because I've got one square here and one square there. But if I wanted to show two groups of a number, I could write my numbers at the top. Let's just quickly recap from the last video. What amount do I have on my screen at the moment? Four, well done. So if I'm doubling, what is going to happen next? Well done, I need to make another group so that I've got two groups of my four. Now I've got my two groups of four. How many do I have all together? Well done, I have eight. So if we look at the top there, double four is eight. Well done. We also looked at drawing doubles on some ladybirds. So we had to draw the second group on the second wing and then complete the sentence. So what do I have to draw first on my ladybird? Three dots, well done. So then what number do I have to write in the sentence to complete it? It says double three is Six, well done. Did you count all the spots on the ladybird? Now today we're going to be looking at that second success criteria of representing doubles. So as you can see on my screen, I've got my part part whole, just like we've looked at in place value. Now we can use this part part whole to represent our doubles. So if you look in this first circle, I've got two squares. If you look in this second circle, I've made my second amount, so I've got another two squares. And then in the top circle, I've put those two lots of two together to find my double. So double two is four. If we have a look at this part, part hole, I need to fill it in. So just look at what number of, or amount I have in this circle. I've got three, which means in this circle, I've got to make the second group of three. So I'm going to draw three squares. One, two, three. Then I need to complete the top circle. So this is how much we have 
all together. So I could count all the squares and then draw it up the top, or I could draw three and then draw another three. So I'm going to count them first. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, which means I need to draw six in the top circle. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then I need to complete the sentence. So it says double three is, and that's right, it is six. Let's see if you can help me with this one. So have a look at that first circle with the squares. Count how many I've got. What am I going to draw in this circle? Well done, I'm going to draw four squares so that it is the same as the other circle. Now if we look at the sentence, it has two numbers missing, so it just says double is. So I'm going to fill in this part of the sentence first. So what number have I doubled down here at the bottom? Well done, I have doubled number four. Now I need to find the answer. So I need to put both my squares in this top circle so that I can find out how many there are all together. So let's count all of them together first then. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So what am I going to draw in this top circle? Eight squares, well done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then if we look at my sentence, double four is eight. Easy peasy, well done. Now we can also use numbers in our part to part whole. So we don't have to draw it, we can write the numbers. So if we look at my example on the screen, I have got number one in this circle and a number one in this circle. So I've made two groups of my number one. Then in the top circle, just like with the pictures, we've got how much we have all together. So one and one make two. So I, in my sentence, I'd say double one is two. Now, if you need some help to find the total, you could draw next to it to help you. So you could draw one and your other one and then count how many you have all together, two, and then fill it in. So just another example, we've got five and five is 10. So double five is 10. Let's see if we can work this one out together. So I'm doubling the number six because in my part parts, I have got a number six in there. So double six is. Now we could work this out in our heads. We could do six add six, but to help me, I'm just going to draw underneath one, two, three, four, five, six. Now I'm going to draw another six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'm going to count how many squares I've just drawn all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Or you might have counted on in your head. So you might have counted six in your head and then used your fingers to count on. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then I just need to finish my sentence. Double six is 12. Now this time in my part, part hole, I have a different circle missing. So this circle has been completed and the answer has been completed, but this circle down here is missing a number. So what number do you think I've got to put in that circle? Well done, it is number three. Why do I have to write number three? 
because we're making two groups of that number. So then I just need to complete the sentence, double three is six, and the answer's already there for us. Well, this time we've got two missing, and if we look at our sentence, we've got both the numbers missing. So just have a look at that first circle. What number are we doubling? Seven, well done. So what number am I going to write in this circle? Seven. So I can look at my sentence and put double seven is. Now I'm gonna try this by counting on, so I'm not going to draw my squares. So I put seven in my head, seven. I'm gonna use my fingers to count up. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So double seven is 14. Now, if you're still not sure to use the numbers, like I said, you could draw your squares, but you could also use something in your home to help you. So using those concrete manipulatives. Now, the first task that you need to do is drawing the pictures in the part, part, whole model. So if you look at this example, it's given you the two parts, so the number that we're doubling, and then you need to put the number in all together at the top and complete the sentence. Then the next day, so on Thursday, you're going to be doing a very similar task, but filling in the numbers on the part, part, whole models. So again, at this example, we're doubling number four. So we need to put the amount, so how many all together at the top, and then we need to complete the sentence. You have done some fantastic work today. Let's just reflect on what we have learned. So we are looking at finding and representing doubles. And in the first video, we looked at finding doubles using manipulatives, so using real life objects. And today's video, we began looking at representing doubles using our part, part, whole. And then in the next video, you might have a look at solving some doubling problems.